everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a question that you guys have been asking me non-stop. I do a lot of ask me anythings and you guys just popping up everywhere. So that question is, what do I plan to do with my loose skin after revenge body and losing so much weight? And I just thought that was such a huge topic. I just don't wanna give some quick answer via social media and then get completely misunderstood. So we are sitting down today to talk about all the facts, the feelings, the opinions, and we're just gonna dive right into this video. Let's get started. So as I said, so many of you guys have been asking me what I plan to do with my loose skin. There is a few things we have to talk about today. So I totally understand some of you guys are coming from the most sincerest place in your heart. We also have to think of it on the perspective of up until I started posting the Ask Me Anythings after Revenge Body came out, I never thought about the loose skin really. Like it wasn't like a really thought in my mind. And so many of you guys asked me, and I guess like my question is like, why does my loose skin bother random people more than it bothers me? I was just very kind of like, why does everyone care so much what I do with my body? Like, I'm very confused. I mean, but then I also see it from the perspective of, you are curious. I did lose so much weight so fast. I clearly do have visible loose skin. But again, I just, it didn't really like, think into my mind so I just wanted to address that that we shouldn't really be like questioning people's bodies and what they want to do with their bodies and their choices and all that fun stuff um but also I guess I do want to answer what I do plan to do with my loose skin um I'm very aware obviously like I said that I have loose skin um, do I think it's a problem? No, I'm currently existing. I lost more weight after the show wrapped. My problem was after the show wrapped, when I did lose more weight, I started noticing my loose skin because I, I love running now. Like I genuinely like love to go on a run. I love hiking around Runyon and Fryman and just run on running. I've never loved run before in my life. So here we are. But in saying that going down hills and up hills, my fat around my stomach of where I've lost a lot of loose skin, it hits onto like my pelvic area and my legs. And it like not only makes like a really like loud kind of sound, but it, it hurts. Like right now when I smack my hand hard enough, that hurts too. It feels painful. So imagine running for a mile down a hill and like you're just constantly feels like someone's just like slapping you on like your legs and your groin, it it hurts, it genuinely hurts. So that's when I started to notice towards the end of the weight loss when things were really, um, loose skin was getting really loose. Um, one of the hugest things was I was not wearing the correct fitting bras. Now I have super lo loose skin on my breasts, um, so we're gonna dive into that in a second of why that is relevant and my, my plans of life. Um, but then after that, I started getting a lot of loose skin on my arms that I hadn't noticed before because I was working out in sweatshirts and long shirts. And so I wasn't feeling it. But then once like, you know, when California got like 120 degrees, I started wanting to hike without a sweatshirt on. And then I noticed like my arms would slap and hit my sides and that almost hurt more than like my stomach area. So to me, the loose skin is not like a cosmetic thing I'm worried about. Like I will live with the loose skin if I have to my entire life. I am not phased by it. It's a part of losing weight. I've already been through a major weight loss before this. So I knew this was gonna happen. I was prepared in a sense, but it, it wasn't really that bothersome at the point because my skin had never been so, I guess, I don't wanna say just loose, but like frail and thin and I don't know, like, oh my God, my loose skin is off the handles. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, but anyways, so my plans of going forward, because there's something we have to realistically talk about. Pretend I had like a hundred something thousand dollars tomorrow and could go, go get lo loose skin surgery and tighten up my skin. Um, even saying I wanted to, which we'll get into that in a second. Even if I had all these resources, it's a scary thing to think about, it's a scary thing to go through, but also saying that I would lose my career as a plus size model. Because of how much weight I've lost, let's be real, plus size modeling usually starts at a size 12. 
sometimes a size eight or a 10, very rare, but there are companies and modeling agencies, I won't name them, that do hire like an eight, a size eight, 10 model, and then tell you guys it's like a 12, 14. So in plus sizing, in terms of like, if we're talking Tord and ASOS and all those plus size brands from the root, I am a size 14, 16 right now. Um, in some brands, I'm even a 12. And so plus size really starts at 12. There's even plus size brands I go to now that I am too small to fit in and they start at a size 14. And some of those, like they're just way too loose. So I can't even shop at those brands anymore and it makes me really sad. But if I can't shop at them, how can I model for them? So then I had to have the realization if I did get my skin removed that I would no longer be considered a plus size model. I don't know exactly what size I would be, but if I'm currently like almost off the chart by a couple sizes, I can't imagine all the skin being gone and then me even being on that spectrum of what society considers plus size. So I would think I'd probably go somewhere between like a size, I don't know, like an eight and a 12. That's something I'd have to like, not even a 12, because if I'm 12, 16 right now, I'd probably go down to like a six or a 10. I'm not really sure how that all works, but I imagine it's gonna be severe. I would no longer be able to be a plus size model if I got my skin removed. So that's something to think about is a huge portion. Not only do I love being a model, I would be so sad. Not saying that I couldn't be a model because I'm always about breaking the boundaries, but I would then fall into a category of not straight size and not plus size. I would still continue to try to break barriers in whatever size I'm at, but realistically for brands and agencies hiring, that's not very a keen size if I'm being super realistic with you guys. So it's something to really consider about and think about if I really wanted loose skin surgery that bad, am I willing to risk my livelihood and something I just am so passionate about, passionate about doing on a daily basis and what would I talk about? It's crazy to think about we all belong to a lot of different communities, whether you belong to um, an LGBTQ community, or if you belong to a, a video gaming community, or if you belong to a sports team community, we all relate and belong to a lot of different communities, but I think sometimes we forget how much they shape our identities. And my whole life I have identified as plus size, so it could also be a mental health issue and problem that I'm risking by removing that. Um, I had a hard time, as you guys can see from previous videos, losing the weight. I, I suffered with really bad extreme body dysmorphia, still working through it currently, um, was dealing with anorexia for a few months. So it was really hard in general, so I couldn't imagine what I would do in such another extreme case of removing more of my body. I think for now, I just need to focus on how I feel in this body and then when I'm comfortable, I could make that whole loose skin decision. But again, say tomorrow I was like, yeah, I'm down, I want it. I do not even have the budget to get it. So it's like not even a thought. It's genuinely just like not a thought that crosses my mind so much until you guys ask me about it because I really don't see it as a problem other than when I'm working out. So I don't really know to go back to the modeling thing. I don't really know how I would feel about that. I think there's a lot of issues in there. I'm just, I'm being really candid and honest with you guys. I've never even really sat down and had this talk with my therapist yet or with anyone. You guys are the first people to hear this come out of my mouth. I just wanna be open and honest because I can't imagine this whole video, me answering it in like an Instagram story. Like that just seems impossible. But I also in saying that one day, I most likely do want to get the loose skin on my arms removed and the loose skin around my stomach removed just because it does make me uncomfortable physically, like it physically hurts, but it doesn't make me visually upset. Like I don't look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, like that loose skin, gotta get rid of it. Um, definitely not a problem, but one day I might get loose skin surgery. I, I just might, I don't know. I don't even have the means right now. So again, it's not something I'm really thinking about, but if that is something I chose to do, I shouldn't have to justify it. I shouldn't have to talk about it. I shouldn't have to address it unless I want to, but I'm just always so transparent with you guys. And so this is something I wanted to talk about and address because so many of you guys were asking about it. Um, so to recap, 
I might do it one day, not really sure. But if I did do it, I would be risking a lot. My mental health, finances, um, complications in surgery, a lengthy recovery, just a lot of, there's so much to think about in that whole process. And I just, for me personally, don't think it's necessary right now. So that's where I stand on that whole, that whole thing. So who knows what I'm actually gonna do in time, but for right now, that's where we are. That's how I feel. It's not that big of a deal. And I think whether I lose more weight and get even more loose skin, I should be comfortable then. Or if I stay the weight I am, I should be comfortable at this weight too. I just I just want to be comfortable with you guys. Dealing with all that body dysmorphia and stuff, it's it's really hard. So I just I'm just, I can't fathom further into the future right now. I just want to worry about now and I'll cross that bridge when I get there. And when I cross that bridge, I'll let you guys know about it and I'll give you another update. For now, this is the update, this is the tea. One more comment though, one more drop into the tea well. We need to really think and be conscious that we shouldn't be commenting on other people's bodies. Like, for example, I was telling a friend today, if you lose weight, you never know why someone's losing weight. Um, it could be, they could be doing it the healthy way, they could be harming themselves. So even though someone might post on Instagram like, lost 30 pounds, you don't know how they're feeling about it, you don't know how they did it, and we shouldn't really congratulate someone unless they're they're commenting that, that they're welcoming that. We shouldn't comment on anybody's body unless they're asking us for their opinion and in the meantime, if you see a friend who's going through a weight loss journey or who has lost weight, don't say anything unless they bring it up. It's really not anyone's business. And if someone wants to talk about it, they'll talk about it. If not, just let it be. And yeah, just something to think about. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me or if I didn't make anything clear enough, comment below. I am more than happy to answer your guys' questions and clear up anything you want cleared up or just any questions you may have now from this video. I'm happy to answer them in the comments below. You can let me know or if you've had loose skin surgery, what do you think? How do you feel? I'd love to hear your story below or maybe if you're considering it. I just wanna hear everything. All your thoughts, your opinions and questions list it below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all for the next youtube video